I cannot believe I'm doing another review, not review, but an update for Insidious 6. Because we all know the last movie, Insidious, was it The Red Door? Something like that. Um, it was supposed to be the last one. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was actually okay. It was not that bad. But within a year, we're already fil like they're already filming right now. Not right now, excuse me. It's uh, September. I d There's a lot of movies. It's hard to keep track of everything, but... They will be filming September 23rd, like legit September 23rd. That's the actual date. Um, there's no plot yet told or out there. So we have no idea where they're going with this. Uh, I know it's number six, but it, I don't know if it's a prequel. I don't know if it's staying in line with the rich in the movies. It's going to follow you know, the main kid. Um, I don't have no idea. But the fact that they're making it and it's a 2025 release date, like, dude, that was within two years. You turn that around. Um, definitely pull they're pulling what you call a uh, halloween five i call this a halloween five effect because halloween five was made developed and put out like less than a year than halloween four it went so fast they did not need to do that and i feel like this is going that route and i really think insidious is one of those franchises where they should take a pause at least with the movies take a pause with the movies and develop something with a tv series because that might be something i would actually like watching um but seriously guys like this is starting to become a paranormal activity but if it's making all that money um i think blumhouse is I th was it blumhouse that owns insidious i think blumhouse yeah if i remember correctly knowing blumhouse they can make cheap movies and make that money so i, I get it but i would call pause on insidious 6 i just enough is enough guys